All right, so this uh, laptop is actually pretty standard. Um, I'd say this is pretty much an entry level um, laptop kind of design into replacing uh, screens for laptops. So this should be very easy, very simple to follow along. Uh, before you replace any uh, screen, you gotta first uh, make sure you unplug the laptop before you do any kind of a, a work on your um, laptop. If you're opening it up for say a hard drive or RAM or anything like that or, or the screen or anything, always take out, take out the battery and always unplug the laptop. Alright, so once those are removed, you can open it up. And we have this little bezel right around here. Now, this one does not have any screws holding this bezel in. Uh, the way you can tell is if there were little rubber grommets on the circles on the, around the corners, usually on the bottom two corners. This one does not have that. So we're going to go ahead and put our fingers in here and just going to very gently lift up on this side of the lip. I'm going to let it pop open. We're not going to force it. We're just kind of going to let it pop open itself and work our way around. And this one connects this uh, little top uh, gray portion with the laptop too. I might need to grab something thin for that. Or maybe I can just use my nails on. Let's see. Yeah, that pops right open. I'm bending it forward so that we're not pressuring too much on the uh, part of the hinge that actually kind of clamps onto it when it's all the way back. Bring it back. I kind of fished it a little, I pulled it a little bit forward when I had it points um, at an angle uh, so I can pull it out this way. So it kind of comes out just like that. Again, you don't want to force it. You just kind of want to gently play around with it, try to get it to come out on its own. You don't want to force any um, part out because you could bend or break the plastic bezel here. Oh. And this is a little magnet. If you didn't know, this is a little magnet here that helps the laptop know when it's closed. And just to be sure, we're going to take uh, the screen that we uh, received in the mail. We're going to make sure uh, that everything lines up, that the holes line up with the right holes, that uh, it's the right size, so it appears to be all good, all right. So now we're going to want to remove the four screws here uh, using a regular Phillips head screwdriver. This is PHO head I'm using right now, but uh, again, any kind of pointed Phillips head screwdriver, you can go ahead and just use that. And put the screws in a safe place. All right, so once these four screws are out, from the top of it, you're going to just kind of pry it away from it carefully. It should just fold right down. And the connector is right here on this model. Um, we're going to double check, make sure that lines up with the new screen. It does. Alright, so for this type of connector, it's pretty simple. It has a little plastic piece covering over top of it, so we're going to just lift up on the plastic piece, um, pull it kind of from the end away towards it. So once that's pulled off, um, you can leave it on the cord. That's actually perfectly fine. Uh, this kind, let me double check, this kind has a latch. Yep. Okay, there's a little latch on this side. That'd be that side of the connector. You want to just gently lift it up. You can, if you're careful, you can use your fingernail if you want to use a plastic spudger. That's perfectly fine, but here's this little lever that pulls up. Make sure you pull up on the lever before you start pulling. You just want to pull it that way, away from where the lever held that on. And it should just pop right out. Just again, be gentle. Um, these, these parts are kind of fragile, so if yours is broken, these that you broke the screen this side. Mine's not broken, I'm just up upgrading mine or changing it around to a different different one. Alright, so we have our new screen. I'm actually going to go ahead and lay this here to help protect it. Alright, we're going to lay it down at the same location as the old one, and we're going to do the reverse. So we have the, this connector here. We're going to Put it in this way, make sure the lever is up and not down. This 
part might be tricky from the angle I'm at. You're on, make sure it's pushed in all the way. Make sure it just kind of makes a little snapping noise, or not really noise, but you kind of feel a little snap to it. That means it's in. So then you lower the lever, and that will latch it down into, or hold it in its place with that, uh, hopefully without it being able to just come right out and wobble around and cut shorts and flicker the screen. If you have any kind of flickering screen problems, always make sure your connector is always or fully connected first before you uh, decide the screen's bad or anything like that. Lift the screen back up into its little cubby, making sure that the cable, the wire, is ran uh, where it should be so it's not pinched. It should be kind of fairly obvious and um, the wire should naturally want to go back to that spot anyways. This uh, screen has a, uh, this little tab bent a little forward. That's fine. We're just going to Try to bend it back. I might need to use pliers. This appears to be the only corner that's slightly bent, so that's a good sign. We're just gonna very carefully try not to apply too much pressure to any parts of the screen. We're just carefully bend that back into spot. And your, your screen might not have any bent tabs, or maybe a couple tabs will be bent. Don't worry about it, it's perfectly fine. Just slightly bend them back. It's just a little thin piece of metal. And if your screen comes with the, oh, it's most likely going to come with a uh, cover on it. This one does. It's a little screen cover to protect it during, you know, when you're installing it. Make sure that uh, this one has it right. A little tab right here. Make sure that tab isn't tucked underneath the monitor, or else you're going to have to unscrew it again. That way you can peel off the plastic protective that's on top of the screen. Then you find the screwdriver um, that you set down ever so carelessly and have no idea where it went. Oh boy. I do this every time and it's always in my lap. Uh. Alright, so those are in. Screen stable. We're going to first remove the uh, plastic protector that comes on the screen. As you can see, this is a matte screen that I got. Uh, it looks kind of glossy just because of the plastic on it. So definitely don't forget to take off the plastic protection. This little thing here, this is reusable. You can put other screens in there. You, I'm actually going to put my old screen in here so I can have a spare. So you take your old bezel and you're going to put it back on. So remember we took it off kind of like, um, like that or kind of like that. So we're going to put it in the opposite way. And then set it down there, kind of make sure all the bottom corners are in, and snap in the spot. And bend it forward, make sure I get this bottom end snapped in correctly. And it would have been a great idea for me to actually test the monitor before I um, put the bezel on. Alright, next, we're going to test it. Always test it before handing it back to a customer. Always test it. Alright, so we're going to put in the battery. Okay. Light turned on. There's an image. Alright, so it's at least seeing the screen right now, so that's good. The BIOS is uh, loading. I want to see the Windows screen first, though. So at this point in the video, I ran into some issues with the Windows not showing uh, the Windows screen or anything, it would just show a blank screen. Uh, the screen itself was fine, it was just uh, some issues I had uh, due to what I was doing. I was trying to basically upgrade my, re my resolution by putting in a better monitor or screen. And in the process, I had to do some extra steps. But since this is not, this video is not for that, I'm just going to put that into a different video, a little troubleshooting process if you run into the problem. But in the end, it all worked out, and this is uh, the computer booting up with the new screen in it. I hope you learned something. Have a great day.